What's up, peeps? My name is here. Today we got a 28 millimeter RDA. It's a dead rabbit. It's the Max. 28 millimeter by Hellvape. So, yeah, I got on the Boxer 21700 doing some matchy matchy. Wow, these things almost match perfectly. Sexy. So, let's go to the dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this RDA. Build, cotton, liquid, come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Dead Rabbit Max 28 RDA. And here's the packaging of the Dead Rabbit Max 28 millimeter RDA by Hell Vape comes in. Inside the packaging, you get a user manual, a little baggie with some cotton and a couple of coils, this baggie with some tools, O-rings, and extra post screws, a coil cutting tool, and the RDA. And here is the Fat Rabbit Max RDA. Aluminum, yeah, this is an aluminum top, nice army green color going on here with a nice A10 drip tip, like this color combo. This is where your airflow is gonna come in. Right now, I got the airflow off. You can see the theme, it's the bunny ears, with two eyes. You see it right there on the bunny? Yeah, I like that. Well, the design. We'll see if I really like the airflow. Well, I'm gonna keep you all in suspense. All right, so 28 millimeter on the bottom. Oh, I didn't show you guys. They do also do give you a squonk pin for this. On the bottom, it does say Dead Rabbit Max RDA, gold plate of 510. Protrudes out more than enough for a hybrid mechanical mod. And to adjust the airflow, it's gotta be on a device or like a stand like this. And you can see now, when I turn it fully open, you can kind of cut it down like that, or like that, or have just one open, or shut it all down. See that, the way you could do it? And obviously it's gonna do that on both sides. Pop the cap off, there's the inside. You're gonna see right here and on the other side, those are the tabs that it locks into. And then it could swivel inside here to adjust the airflow. And there's the build deck. So we have the rabbit ear style build deck, flathead screws, juice well is about 6.5 millimeters deep. Right there, you see that little hole? That's where the squonking action happens. Liquid will feed right inside here. You also got another hole on the other side. Nothing on this side or on that side. This is how the locking action happens right inside here on both sides. So let's get a build in here. I'm gonna use the coils that they provided. We're gonna cut it at five millimeters. Yes, yeah, so I was an Amazon browsing around and I found these on there. Oh, they are awesome. Look at the way they cut. That's just, it's effortless. Ooh, love it. I'll have a link down below. Grab the coils and we'll just pop them down inside there. Gonna grab the flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna give it a slight little lift, the coil and tighten it down. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now that I've adjusted the coils, I have them right where I want them. You can see it there. And what I like to do is I'll grab this piece here, the top cap, and I'll kind of like line it up to see where the airflow falls. And you can see it falls right smack dab in the middle. And there you go, off camera. I did pulse the coils, got all the hot spots out. Resistance came out to a 0.14. And for cotton, I'm gonna try out this cotton. Cloud9 sent this to me, so I'm gonna give it a try out here. If you're interested in this, Google search Cloud9. All right, we'll pop that cotton open. And there is the cotton, nice and white. You can, can't even see it, it's so white. There you go, nice and fluffy. We'll pull a piece out. Probably gonna cut it right about there. And I should be able to wick both coils with this one piece. There it is. Split it in half. Give it a little twist. Pass it through, grab it from the other side. Yeah, buddy. There's the other side. This is nice soft cotton. I like it. There we go. Give it a twist. Pass that through the other side. Scissors, we'll cut that excess off. Ooh, Steve's gonna have some extra cotton for his caliburns. Yeah, buddy. All right, comb out. All right, nice easy comb out on this. Wow, what a big difference on the cotton I use. I use regular cotton pads. This thing is soft. It's so soft, we have to give it that little under under action. You like that, don't you? Cut the fuzzies out of the way. There we go. Tweezers, little fold, fold and tuck. 
There we go, nice. Grab this side, do the same thing. Give that a little tuck down right inside there. Yeah, buddy. Get some liquid on there. Let's activate the device. There we go. Suck that liquid in. All right, make sure you saturate everything. Grab the top cap, pop it on to some matchy matchy goodness. And there you go. That was the Dead Rabbit Max RDA by Hell Vape. Let's go back on top. Let's vape on it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. The up close Dead Rabbit Max RDA Hell Vape 28 millimeter. Mike and thoughts, pros and cons. Okay, cons with this RDA. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? The airflow fully open is way too much. And when I first saw the RDA, I was worried, oh, about cutting down the airflow. I'm gonna... Here we go. I'm not... Steve, don't turn the exhaust on yet. Maybe you should. I will wait on it. I know you're busy with your lanyards. He's, he's re-wicking his pods right now with the excess con. Anyway, let's go back to the RDA. The airflow, I thought, would be too much, which it is too much. Cutting it down, is it going to make weird noises and so forth? No, it's actually been fine. So, I'm trying to find out. Uh, cons on this. And the only thing I could think of would be the airflow, even though it's not really a con. You just don't have too many options when cutting it down. You have options, but not too many. Yeah, other than that, I think the RDA is nice. Build X, simple and easy to use. Going to get a pro. It looks nice and it's a clean RDA. It's going to get a pro. There's no branding on it except for the ears that are on there. I think it looks nice. The drip tip combination with this, it looks beautiful. It did a good job. I like the body style of it. It's going to get a pro. The body style does remind me of the Seri that I just reviewed. The Siri, Siri, something like that, or Seri RDA. Reminds me of that. That's not a pro con. I'm just like... Mentioning that it reminds me of it. You get your spare parts, your squonk pin. They give you coils. They give you cotton. Your O-rings, extra post screws. It's going to be a pro. Now, let's demonstrate. See, I'm going to do now vapor, and then Steve will turn on the exhaust. Jeez. All right, let's fully open this thing here. Fully open. You can see there, fully open. Both X's, both eyes, right? Dead rabbit eyes, that's what they are. We have it at 100 watts. Let's hit it. Way too much airflow. This is to where this RDA, 28 millimeter, you could throw in your traditional series build inside here, the vape it series mode, which is going to be a pro because you do have lots of airflow. Different than the Siri RDA, which is strictly a series RDA, it's different. Watch the video, you'll understand. It's different. When you're doing a series build on a regular RDA, this one here would be perfect for it. That's what I'm getting at. Okay. Cut down the airflow. We'll do one eye. One eye open. Let's hit it. Not bad. Getting the airflow hitting the coil. I would think it would be too much airflow. It's not. The X is preventing it from making funny noises too. It is almost a little, like Grim would say, whooshy. But not bad. Now, the way I like it, I use all four, and I do this weird thing. I don't know if you guys could make that out. In between the eyes, I have holes open. And when I first saw it like that, I was like, "Is that gonna, that's going to be super tight of an airflow. Let's hit it. It's nice. You're getting that restrictive, restrictiveness. That's right there, that setting. Restriction. 100 watts, flavor. Damn good flavor with this, with the airflow like that. When you have it, the other two configurations of airflows, fully open or one eye open, it's, the flavor's good. Well, when they're both open, the flavor's diminished. Obviously, it's too much airflow. One eye open, flavor's okay. The way I have it now, the flavor is banging. But this is to where 
if you want a little bit more airflow than where I have, you're going to be a little bit, you're going to have to then cut down the eye, right? So I got the one eye open now, cut down. You see that? I don't know if it's showing it. Anyway, one eye open is cut down. Let's get a little bit more liquid in there. All right. Let's hit it. 100 watts. I'm getting a little bit of a funny sound. It's on the tail end. Let me open it up just a little bit more. Better. It all has to do with, you have to adjust where you like the airflow. Like I said, the configurations on here, there's lots of configurations, but the thing, the problem is, what I meant was you don't have a lot of configuration. Is I'm I'm biased. I like honeycomb. All right now, Steve, turn the exhaust on. There we go. Much better. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Also, they sent me these two colors here. There's the red and the black. Now the red and the green top caps seem to be aluminum. On the black, this is a stainless steel. It's a stainless steel top cap. So. My understanding, I think, uh, I'm not sure how many colors they're going to have, but obviously the stainless steel version and this black version is metal, right? Stainless steel, and this is going to be aluminum with the green. I'm not sure if they have any other colors, but I think it's because it's hard to get like a, make a red on stainless steel. It's hard or the green, so they do it on aluminum. Nice looking. Not sure about the gold drip tip on the black though. All in all, I've been really enjoying this RDA. I like the way it vapes. I like the way it looks. I like the size of it, the 28 millimeter. Not bad. It's a pretty good RDA. The airflow is a little strange, but you have to really find it, dial it in, and find where you like to have the airflow. And the tighter the airflow, the better much the flavor gets. Nice flavor. One more hit. Also, I want to give a shout out to Cloud9 for the cotton. This is pretty good cotton right here. Google search that one. I'm not sure if you're allowed to put links for cotton. I don't want to get in trouble for that. But I'm pretty sure I could put a link for this here. Just a core, it's just a wire cutting tool. This thing is awesome. Milwaukee cutting tool here. I'll have a link definitely down below for this. This thing cuts beautifully. Well, it's Milwaukee brand. Top notch. And there you go, guys. That was the Dead Rabbit Max. 28 millimeter RDA by Hellvape. In the description below, no links to this. I can't, I'm not allowed. Good old YouTube policies. I will have links to me, my vapes, down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you to remember, be safe and keep on vaping.